everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hurricane Ux and I'm Eber with Hurricane Ux. You guys probably realized that already, but today is the official launch of Computex 2016 and we start off this show with a little trip for a factory tour with InWin. Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX and MSI. So the first thing we did when we got to the factory was visit their power supply testing room, uh, which had a bunch of racks and uh, they hook up the power supplies in there to test how the power supply behaves. They go through three different temperatures, temperature modes, but the room doesn't have any AC. It smelled a little strange. I'm happy there was a fan inside. Mm -hmm. But then we got to visit a really cool electromagnetic interference room. So apparently they put a case in there and they test out how much emissions interference there is from the box. The antenna or whatever device that yeah. was pointing at your source that looked pretty intimidating, yeah. it was fairly large. And then we moved on to the semi anechoic chamber and this is where they tested the noise levels of uh, cases for, and they had different um, settings. And of course, when we walked in, uh, we were able to like hear our own blood flow after a few minutes. And then I was able to hear my camera, which was um, kind of weird. Well, the thing but... is with the C100, it has an actual fan in there, but you never hear it because in a normal environment that uh, fan is very very quiet and the ambient noise even if you're in a silent environment drowns out any mm -hmm. noise of the electronics right. so for example the camera uh, was on you could hear that you could hear things from the phones oh. and then we moved into the best part of the factory and that was how they uh, actually uh, they had these separate molding parts and um, once they installed the molding parts inside the actual manufacturing machine uh, they were able to mold certain parts of the case and we were able to see how the actual plastic parts were coming out um, from the actual machine. And they had different textures. So I was actually told that they set it to different temperatures for different textures. Yeah. Uh, and that was really interesting to, uh, well, to see. Well, just being able to see the molding for like a power button really opens your mind on how much goes into production of an enclosure. Regardless of how simple or advanced it is, you always, um, it's something that you never, see. Mm -hmm. uh, we were also interested to see just how a sheet of metal just transformed into a side panel with all the details and of course the logo. So in this case we were able to see how they were able to uh, engrave the ASUS logo on one of the side panels and that was really cool to actually see it in person. They had a really cool laser cutting machine yeah. uh, that was producing not many sparks but the noise. Oh, oh my god because they have the it was an aluminum piece and the aluminum piece is covered in um, blue film and the blue film is supposed to protect any burns or like anything that would defect uh, the aluminum itself. Um, but also they had plenty of almost conveyor belts in terms of, uh, like you said, taking a piece of metal, uh, cutting it up to, to whatever size, to whatever thing. And then you can, uh, they were bending it so that machine, it was a conveyor belt of carrying all these parts and it was, very interesting to see the behind the scenes of how a case is made. We were also able to see how the cases were painted. So it actually goes through a real cool process of um, just having a little thin blade uh, and it just goes up and down. So it just finishes that nice, it gives you a nice paint job on the actual case. Uh, that was also really cool to see uh, inside mm -hmm. the factory. Yeah, I was surprised uh, to find out that the smell of paint wasn't as strong as I was expecting it to be. Mm -hmm because you're literally the next room, uh, which is open and there's fans everywhere. I asked them what they do with this water because it looked quite uh, gross. Yeah. So we're told that they dry the water and then whatever's left is a solid and they discard the solid. So aside from all the production things that we're seeing uh, in, the, in the factories, we also got the, a little sneak peek in their design facility. Mm -hmm. So we actually met one of their in-wind designers and their in-house in designers and their new product with the LED fans that have a detachable cable and they have a LED system that's built into it that is cohesive with an addition of LED strips. So you can add LED strips to the same daisy chain between LED fans and other LED strips and they will all be controlled with individual LED control through this hub. And that's one of the, that's gonna be the next level of customization for computer builds because right now we have the Hue Plus, which is awesome. 
but it's only LED strips. You can't connect the fans here. So they're taking the next step further. We'll see how it plays out. But the cool thing is because the cable from the fan is removable, what you end up left with is so you can put three fans by the radiator and instead of each fan having their own connector, you can have these little interconnectors between the fans that connect each other. And therefore in the end, you're left with one single cable that you connect to the hub. And then from the hub, you can control the fan speed and there's a remote and there's multiple lighting modes. I am actually very excited to see this product come to, to, to market because that's like the dream come true in terms of customization for LED lighting for your case. You know, having cohesive lighting between fans and LED strips. So uh, we were told that there are a total of 600 employees working in the factory uh, and uh, the manufacturing is actually taken by order. So uh, they had, we were able to actually see basically from start to finish of how uh, every individual was doing something with the case and then it eventually gets into the packaging and it's pretty much yeah. shipped and it says that it ships in about one to two days after the order has actually been made so that's pretty fast that's pretty incredible imagine that. like or you're an asus and you order 300 cases mm -hmm. and then within two days all that is being shipped to you yeah. so one of the cool things we were able to take a look at the factory was the quality control center uh, and they have this 3d analyzing machine where when you place a part, a computer part onto the machine, it detects uh, the dimensions of that part. And I was told that the dimensions were measured in micrometers, so it's very precise, uh, and that was really cool to actually, you know, witness. And that concludes our debrief uh, on the factory tour with Inwin. Fantastic experience being able to see how products are made behind the scenes before things get to in our reviewer hands, you know, for the retail product. This was your first time with a factory tour of this caliber. Mm -hmm. What are your impressions in three words? It was amazing. All right, all right. So guys, make sure to check out our in-win three or three case review. Actually, the coincidence that they kind of aligned with this uh, coverage of that you're watching now. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.